but to be honest with you, the grace of God is really enough for us. Amen. Amen. The grace of God is what? It's enough. You know, you just have to position yourself and live right. Many of you, one of the reasons why I will pray for you non-stop, you don't live right. We pray for you and we say, God will do this. But your lifestyle will take that prophecy away. Are you hearing me? So now it's very much important from now, you go and check your lifestyle. You know, many people, they think, you know, sin is only fornication. You know, there are many things that we are doing that, you know, they'll make us to be rejected by God one day. Are you hearing me? Can, can from today, can you do what you call, you know, you inspect your life. You do self, you know, self-introspection. You check your heart itself can lend you to hell straight one day without a stop sign. This thing is disturbing me. Hold it. Without a stop sign. Sometimes we hate people for nothing. You just look at someone that you don't even know, you feel in your heart, you say, but why I don't like this person? You've got a spirit. You need to deal with your heart. Tell your neighbor, say, can you deal with your heart? Tell your neighbor again. T tell your neighbor again. The Bible says only the pure in heart. They will do what? O only what? What is the pure in heart? Pure. The pure in heart, you know, is people that when God is looking at you, he won't find anything to blame you with. Did you hear that? That's the pure in heart. You know, when God is looking at you, you must never find even a small thing to blame you. So now, I've got a question. When the Bible says only the pure in heart will see God, it didn't say only the pure in heart will enter heaven. It didn't say that. It means that there's a group that won't see God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Are we hearing that? Amen. It means that there's a group that will do it. It won't see God. Because am I, am I misinterpreting it, my, my pastor? It says only the pure in heart will do it, will see God. It didn't say only the pure, the pure in heart will enter heaven. It didn't say that. So it means there are others that will have something but still enter there, but they won't see God. So now, check your heart from today. Tell your neighbor, say, can you check your heart? Tell your neighbor again, say, check your heart. I don't know if I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not quoting it right or I'm misinterpreting it. But according to what I've read, it says only the pure in heart will enter heaven. I mean, it, they will see God. And it never said the only the pure in heart will enter heaven. It's not speaking about heaven here. It's speaking about seeing God. You don't want to see him? Oh, not great. Now I want to see him. Yeah? Are you ready to see him? Are you ready to see him? I can't hear your amen. 